Hello everybody, Ivan D here. Now, because we are the 4th of, uh, of September, uh, we might be starting to uh, make fires in our furnaces. And uh, if you have a prefab, uh, and you're wondering how to clean it, and you might have moved into a uh, new home or something, um, now, if you have a furnace, you are most likely going to have a 7-inch uh, uh, pipe, okay? If you have a wood stove, you most likely have a 6-inch uh, uh, pipe. Um, so, this is what you're going to need here. It's a, um, a poly sweep chimney brush. It's a polypropylene bristles. Okay, uh, you do not want to get one that's made out of metal. I don't even know if they uh, sell those anymore, but I know that in the older days they had them because the stainless steel, it'll is, is it'll, it'll scratch it so that's why you want these ones another <laughs> this is actually one that I had to rebuy because my uh, my chimney uh, caught fire because I wasn't uh, cleaning in cleaning it as much as I had to and there were still some hot stuff in there and I tried cleaning it and it melted the brush it just like just like shriveled right up it completely melted it so um depending on how you're set up here i have just screws in here just to kind of keep it in place but really you don't really need it so you just want to if you have a screw in there you just Take it out, and the way it is, it's there's notches, so it it's made so that it doesn't come out. So you're gonna need to like turn it, and then it should pop right out, like so. Um, now the the um. The first, uh, the uh, the rods that I I use, you're gonna need to figure out how much chimney you have. Um, so if you can go in the attic and count how many sections you have, each section I think it's approximately three or four feet, and these rod things are like four feet each, so you kind of. So you know how much to buy, but the people that sell it to you will probably do to to, to to tell you. No, so you just right. You, you you take a bucket, uh, a steel bucket, because it might be still a little hot. So you don't want a plastic bucket. So you want one of the steel. And just push it up. how much I've got so I put a piece of tape at the end right here so when I get to the uh, piece of tape I know that I'm pretty much at the end there. And just pull it out when you get almost to the to the bottom you push it back up and 
and you do that as many times as it takes until when you, you start to you pull it out and uh, there's no more soot coming out of the chimney. You know it's pretty good. You can also uh, take a flashlight and then just kind of you can look up and you can see it's pretty clean. So then you can just okay, get on screws here. So just unscrew it out of there and just take your one section. It's uh, there's a lot of threads to it, so which is kind of good. So make sure that you thread it all the way in, because you don't want it to come out when you're when it's all the way up to the chimney. So because you're gonna have a pretty big problem trying to get that in there. So there's a there's quite a bit of threads. I don't know if you can see that. Notice then you just push in the small section here. Put everything back together again, and uh, that's how much. That's how you uh, you clean your chimney. It's uh, simple enough. So hopefully this helped you out, and uh, it was informative. So uh, yeah, just be sure to like and subscribe and. Dive in D till the next one. See you later.